So the last aspect of the clean, um, once you've gotten through the proper setup and the alignment, uh, the first pull, which is from the floor to just above the knees, you've uh, properly reached the power position, you've uh, succeeded at the hip drive, and the second pull, which this will start in that, uh, that phase of the second pull. You now need to work on the catch. And the catch, I typically see, uh, common faults that I see are poor footwork when hitting into the catch to get into your squat position, um, slow elbows underneath the bar, and then just a general lack of strength uh, to catch and receive the bar and to get out. Right? Most people, uh, there is a strength kind of limitation because it is a front squat that you have to catch in. Um, so you really want to make sure that you've developed uh, really great front squat strength in your accessory squat training to get better at the Olympic lift of the clean. So we are going to watch this athlete uh, turn himself underneath the bar once he finishes the second pole. Um, just take note that his feet right now are still in that pulling stance. He's going to actually split his feet open to land in his squat stance, which realistically is only a couple inches, if that, wider than this typical stance. The toes may be flared out a little bit, but none of the large splaying that you commonly see uh, with most Olympic lifts with inexperienced lifters. Um, remember, this is not a power clean. This is a true Olympic uh, weightlifting squat clean here, so you want to make sure you hit that great depth because the lower you can catch underneath, the better you'll be at squatting things up and ultimately your clean and jerk will increase as well. So here we go. We are going to watch this athlete go. You can see he finishes, shrugs, elbows follow through. At this point, watch his feet. He's up. He opens. Opens his feet about an inch or so per side. And now he's transitioning himself under the bar. He's dropping his hips. The bar is yet to make contact. He catches and receives right there. You can see he has a nice vertical torso. His heels are still into the floor and he's sitting low. His elbows are parallel to the floor. And he's got his head up. Abs are braced. From here, he's going to drive his shoulders vertically through the bar, picking up his hips, making sure his uh, back angle, his torso angle goes straight vertical. And he's up, and he has succeeded at his clean into his transition into his jerk, which is the next video. So if we play this back one more time, want to make sure we look at everything happening here. So slow motion, gets through, receives, drives out of the hole. One tip here is never sit down once you caught that barbell. You want to make sure you explosively drive out uh, because you do not want to wait down there to have to squat up heavy front squat weight.